Hello everyone, I'm here today with Federico. Hi Federico, how are you? Hi Michael. Good I'm to see well. you again. Good Thank you. you. Yeah. I'm here at Ryan Makers Vintage at 25 Main Street in Porto Luzzi. This is a great place. What Federico does, it's basically uh, make your own wine. However, what sets Federico apart is he uses real, real grapes. There's no concentrates, no juices. He makes the wine for you, with you, using the real grapes. That's right. Uh, well, a few years ago, um, I uh, to go to Niagara College for uh, the winemaking program. And uh, after I graduated and I spent a few years in the wine industry um, and not being able to afford the very good wines that I like to drink, um, I started uh, thinking about opening my own business. And I realized that there wasn't anybody who made wine properly in a make your own wine location. And so I set out to uh, do that. Uh, so I lined up my suppliers of uh, organic and biodynamic grapes from Spain and Chile. Uh, I made uh, open ferment bats out of oak uh, barrels yeah. and, uh, and I got all set up to do this uh, in the same way they do at the premium wineries around the world. That's amazing. And seasonally you also offer local wines, correct? Local That's grapes. That's right, yeah. So. so I basically have two seasons, uh, the north of the world and the south of the world season. So the north of the world season will be from September to November, including Niagara grapes, uh, as well as Spanish, and then a south of the world season, uh, including Chilean grapes, uh, which will be arriving now at the end of May. That's amazing. And I can attest, excellent quality wines. I've made one batch here myself, and they're sitting at home, aging a little bit, but from what I've tasted, very good product so far. Yeah, show us a little bit about your process. This barrel right here, we just heft um, and drained the free flow juice, uh, or wine I should say, and now we are going to empty all these skins and put them in the press and press them to extract uh, the maximum amount of wine from the skins. So uh, this is uh, the process after about a month where the wine has gone through its primary fermentation and now it's being sent into the cellar where we'll spend another few months going through some secondary processes uh, and developing aromas and flavors to be ready for in bottle in five months. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and share. Federico, thank you so much for having us here today. My thank pleasure. You. Thank, thank you for you. coming out. Mine as well. See you guys soon. Thank you.